Coach. Thank you again for joining us here on the post game. I know this game not turning out the way that you would like, but like you told me yesterday, it seems to hold true even today that your team did not stop fighting until the very end. Just mistakes kind of did you guys in, especially during that second quarter of play. Yeah, I think the second quarter was um, we just went on one of those turnover things that we do and um, – the rest of the game was pretty even, and we've just got to figure out how to eliminate those those lapses. So much of it is just us and our inexperience, and um, we just don't keep moving forward. You know, we get frustrated and upset, and then things tend to snowball. Um, and the energy, ba the basketball finds energy. At the end of the day, you can watch any game, any level in the country, and the basketball is going to find energy. And there were times where we just had no energy. And we can't do that, and we know that. And, um, I mean, it is what it is. I, you know, we, we can't make excuses. Um, the situation is what it is, and, and we got to figure out how to get better. No, it's totally understandable, Coach, especially those type of mistakes coming against a really good opposition that's able to take advantage of those said mistakes. But like you mentioned, it is a new team. You have a lot of new faces and still trying to generate – a, a gelling, if you will, of your squad, especially coming off of the bench. But there were some fantastic performances. It looks like you have a real leader out there in Christina Mason who has really been able to put the ball in the basket. And, of course, Jasmine Jackson, who is doing it from both ends, defense and from uh, offensively as well, taking some of those charges. Yeah, she, you know, Jazz, um, Jazz tends to be our energy spark plug. Um, and when she's high energy, kind of feeds to everyone else and, you know, as I said yesterday, I mean, T is playing at a really high level and playing really, really good for us. And she put together two solid games against a really good team with a lot of pressure. Um, and so we've just got to continue to grow and and everyone around her start to get a little bit better. Um, that's a tough team to play at the point guard position. They They make your life very difficult. And I thought she was good. And I thought Ronnie, as a freshman, came in and gave really good minutes. I've been really pleased with her the past couple of games. So, I mean, there's a lot of positives. There's things we need to work on, but, you know, we're going to always, the glass is always half full, and um, and that's the way we're going to approach things, and that's our perspective, and we'll learn from it and, and, and get better. Uh, I guess just to ask you a little bit of a preview, Coach, I'll yeah. leave you with this. Uh, you're going to go back and talk with your team. This will be one of the few times you'll see them, or probably the last time you see them before the break. Yeah. Um, I know not everything's about basketball necessarily, especially in the year of 2020, but what do you want to leave them with so they can kind of try to enjoy their family but also be ready to get back to work come in 2021? You know, I, I, I think um, it's the same stuff that we talk about every day, um, perspective and how we approach things. And, and I think if there's one thing that 2020 has given us, um, it's gratitude for the opportunities that we have because – you know, there was a long time we didn't know if we were going to get to put on a uniform and play a game. And so trying to keep the the emphasis on that, on, on gratitude and enjoying the moment. Um, you know, and, and we've got to continue. You know, I tell them all the time, there's a reason why when you're sitting in a car, your windshield is so much bigger than the rearview mirror because life's happening in front of us, not behind us. And I think sometimes that's tough for 18 to 22-year-old kids to, to remember um, and it's no different than in this game today, the same type of stuff we saw. We, we take away from the present opportunities because of past, and, and we just got to grow and get better. We got to get more mature and understand that, and, you know, everything's a teachable moment, and everything is an opportunity to learn, and we got to start taking advantage of those opportunities. We'll be all right. I mean, we knew we had tough – the first four games on our schedule were tough, and after that, you know, we, I, I wouldn't bet against my squad. We, we win every game on that schedule, and we'll be ready, and we're going to play hard, and, and we'll get it figured out. Coach, I would never bet against you. <laughs> I already know how you are. You always have this team ready to play, even when the deck is stacked against you. But I appreciate the time that you gave us here on the post game. I know the games after a loss aren't always as pleasant as a game after a win. But I already know, as soon as your team puts together what they brought in the fourth, the second in the first quarter in this, or the first, the third in the last quarter of this game, once they can put it together for all four quarters, you're going to find that success. You're also my biggest fan, so <laughs> you are uh, biased. Oh, just a tad, but I'm wearing yeah. the shirt. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs>
Well, Coach, I appreciate your time again. I'm sorry I didn't go your way today, but I know things will turn around in 2021. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas to you too, Coach. Coach J.J. Real on the pregame, and again, big thanks to her for joining us.